Hey guys, I'm Sherry Rich Legends. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here with me today, playing some raid, opening up some void shards, sending some love and some positive vibes, especially if you need them out there today. Today, I've woken up at 3 a.m. to do this void shard opening, so apologies if the old, the old voice is a little rusty here. I think it's sexy. I actually have a flight to catch, but I wanted to go after Layasu. I had to. It's a 10x right now with the double X as well. Great time to summon. I don't have this guy, obviously, or I wouldn't be summoning right now, but he's still one of the top five, arguably top three, top one, top two. Why are you going back? Uh, Hydra clan boss damage dealers out there in the game, and it's all because of the passive here. But let's see if we can get our hands on this dude. We have 140 void shards to summon. Uh, we're gonna do a hundred dollars to charity. We're gonna go with the Ark, uh, uh, a charity very close, uh, near and dear to my heart. Excuse me, again, real rusty this morning here. Uh, they help out individuals and their families with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Uh, a lot of amazing work goes into a charity like that. I encourage you guys to check them out. The link will be in the top line of the description. And uh, if you can, of course, maybe make a little donation uh, yourselves as well. So we have Skrank, who I absolutely love. My favorite AoE burner out of every epic out there in the game. The only thing is, I always say he's my favorite. And he absolutely is, but there is something to be said for the not doing damage on the AoE burn of a Mordecai. Uh, so it just depends on what you need and where you're at, right? Ayala Life Blade, uh, bra bla Braid, not Blade, Ash. Although Blade's a pretty decent throwback. The increased accuracy on all allies, the block, debuffs, and the heal with the instant turn potential RNG on the passive. I really like her a lot. I think she's uh, underrated. She's not like the best Void Epic out there, but man, she's uh, she's solid. She's really solid. Paragon Scrapper, Fellhound, eh. Malbranch, Bellower, the Goat, the OG. Let's get a little bit smaller here. Make room for my retainer, T-Rex. Armentine, Ashwalker, Rock Beast. Okay, that's a bunch of blues. Nothing to write home about there, even though there were a couple good that. ones in there. Hurry up! Get on my video, man. You're ruining my day already. Hasn't even started. You're ruining my day. Inquisitor, Vanguard, Retainer, Veteran, Myoclus, Justicar, Dilgal, Draconis, and a Selenia Nightcloak. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's get this. Let's get this. Come on. What's going on with my lighting over here? I have no idea, but it doesn't look very good. Give me your money. Armentine Skeleton, Centurion, Painsmith, Seducer, Eviscerator, Drowned, Bloat Wraith, Eviscerator again, Draconis, and White Dryad, Naya. Man, White Dryad teams are still dominant with Trunda to the surprise of pretty much no one, right? T-Rex, Veteran, Basher. We've got Centurion. We've got Marquise, Gala, my girl Gala, Exemplar, Dagger, Renegade and Eviscerator again. I'm gonna try to turn my lights up. One sec. Tell me if I get a legendary. You don't really wanna hear the truth, do you? All right, we're back and the lighting is fixed. The lighting issue, I had like a weird shade around me and it was really bothering me. We have Inquisitor Shamil, we have Azure. Inquisitor Shamil is just still one of the goats of, uh, of Hydra Clan boss. With that true fear cleanse, he's a staple still, I'm sure, of the majority of teams out there, the majority of players out there, they've got to, they've got to use him on at least one of the teams. He's hard to replace. Draconis Centurion, Demitha, so the queen of block damage on a three-turn cooldown. Man Eater, still, yeah, sure, why not? The king of unkillable, the king and queen right next door to each other. We get Denid, the only rare to have the increase uh, or the strength in on the big uh, three-turn cooldown, big version on the three-turn cooldown. Pretty cool, pretty cool for a rare to have that. Uh, my Oculus. Hello. Hello. Smile. Mm -hmm. Well, hello. What a pleasure. Just a car scrapper, retainer. Where the heck are all the legendaries? <laughs> Come on, man. What is this baloney? God, I just pulled like almost a hundred. Gosh. All right, we do have a 2x chance, which is a whopping 1% chance. So yeah, we're basically right on cue, Ash. Why do you always act like you're supposed to pull a legendary even though it's a 1% chance when you pull 80 shards? Let me make some room, I'll be right back.
All right, guys, we do have two remnant summons, so maybe I can surprise you by sprinkling in a mythical. Let's see, we got a 2.5% chance. All right, let's do the other one. I've been saving these, oh God. All right, forget it. Forget about how long I've been saving them for. All right, there's the epics out of the remnant summons. All right, we have 60 void shards left to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start pulling those Legos. Am I in the, am I in the mercy? Mercy's such a crocs, man. It's just, it's just such a croc. Uh, it's just like, yeah. I mean, 200, 200 to get there and then like 5% per shard. I talk about it like it's some big thing that, oh, I'm in, I'm in mercy. I'm, I'm guaranteed a legendary soon, but it's like, yeah, maybe in the next 50 shards. Uh, Golden Reaper, Armentine Skeleton, where, come on, give me one Lego, come on. You know what? It will all be fixed on that last shard when we get our hands on Leasu, right? It's gonna be, it's just gonna happen that way. I know it. I know it. I'm putting those good vibes into the raid universe as if the raid, as if the universe cares about raid. Does it? Beautiful liar, holding me, I'm a neighbor. Bleeding me dry, she wants to devour my soul. Fuck. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. And then we brought twin! Oh man! Damn it! And Nithwi Blood Twin serves me right, thinking I was gonna get lucky from Rage Shadows, stupid legends. And Nithwi Blood Twin has the final doom where he can block revive on everybody he kills. Works with Soul Reap because it happens off of a passive, not off of a skill. I don't know. He's a really fun block revive champion, but. Ah, in this meta, he just doesn't ignore, like, there's no ignore stone skin potential and, uh,. He's, he's still fun, but he's just not the most powerful Void uh, Nuker out there nowadays. Uh, but just, he's not, he's not who he wanted. A Boro, a Kemptum. Oh, God, all that. By the way, a Boro and Kemptum are two, like, top 10 Void epics. So, there's that. There's that. But that's not here what we're, that's not why we're here, right? Azure, Skirmisher, Skull Crown. Crazier things have happened. But why did I feel like that was my mercy burning? <laughs> Skull Crown. We get Azure number two. Ash Walker. I think this is the last batch of ten here, guys. This is it. The final countdown. All right. I'm really bad at singing generally <clears throat> this early in the morning. Exceptionally bad, as I've demonstrated for you guys. Ox, Daywalker, Seducer, Marquise, Harvester, Seducer, T-Rex, Veteran, Retainer. Man, this guy still evades me. He still evades me. Maybe if I hold him or if I put him up on the screen at the end of the video, people will scroll to the end of the timeline on YouTube and think I got him. Maybe I shouldn't do that, huh? All right, guys, that's going to do it. We have $100 for charity. Thanks for hanging out with me. I feel like this is a very subpar video, but I appreciate you guys chilling with me, pulling some shards nonetheless. Hopefully you had better luck than I did if you pulled any shards during this event. Much love, and as always, take care, guys.